Well, the Bureau of Indian Affairs at Southern Pueblo's agency has teamed up with Brookline College, Carrington College, and the Pima Medical Institute. Together, they are all hosting a new career training program that is aimed to improve employment outcomes in Pueblo communities. Here to talk more about this and what it's going to do, we have the Job Placement Training Coordinator, Sharon Kidman, Director of Career Services at Carrington College, Lori Liebman, and Pharmacy Technician at Levels Hospital, Daniel Tenorio. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for being here. Okay, so let's talk about this program. Uh, just recently started up. What does it do? How do folks get involved? Well, the program's kind of birthed from an idea that uh, myself and a tribal coordinator had uh, several months ago, back in December of 2013. And from there, we've kind of just gone over our, um, our challenges, what we see in the field with our students that um, progress from college into the professional career field. So we kind of brainstormed together. Her name is Odessa Waku. Her and I uh, got together and we thought of this idea so that we could uh, further help our public communities and with those folks inside there that maybe can't come into the city for a training um, and would like it to be locally um, based for them. That's kind of how this whole idea got started. Okay, so specifically, what issues do young men and women on the Pueblo have when it comes to getting job skills and getting jobs and retaining those jobs? One of the biggest issues is transportation. Okay. So uh, instead of having them come into the city, we decide to put together a traveling roadshow and go out there. It's a very unique program in that three natural competitors, Brookline, Pima, and Carrington, all have the same goal. And we're working off the premise that the reason that these students come to school is because they want to get a job mm -hmm. in their field when they graduate. But then there are ties at home that let them go back to the Pueblos. And unfortunately, the Pueblos cannot hire every single person sure. that goes back. So we bring this uh, educational seminar to each of the Pueblos. We've done about two so far, three. Three, three. three so far. We have more coming up. And uh, hopefully, this will give them the confidence and the knowledge and refresh them because many of them have been to one of our schools and so it refreshes them and tells them how to get a job. Okay, so, so I assume all being colleges and somewhat in the medical industry, that's one of the areas where you all are focusing right now, correct? Yes, however, Brookline does have other uh, opportunities. Okay. They do criminal justice and business, so it's more than just medical, but yes, all three schools focus on medical. Okay, and that's what you went into, Daniel. I take it you did you grow up on a reservation? Yeah, in I Pueblo? grew up on the San Domingo Reservation. Okay, so you just graduated kind of as this program was starting. So what struggles did did you encounter or what issues did you encounter when it comes to going to school, staying in school? You graduated and then getting a job outside of that. I mean, transportation was was a big deal. I mean, it takes about 30 minutes just to get into Albuquerque from Santo Domingo. Okay. So this program would have really helped me out at that time. Sure, sure, sure. And now you're employed at Loveless. Yes. Your pharmacy technician. How's that it's, going for you? It's good. I like it. I'm employed at the Loveless General Center Pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what advice do you have to say, say, say some of your friends or family members who are on the Pueblo right now kind of thinking about, okay, do I go to college? How can I deal with these transportation issues mm -hmm. and just in terms of getting a job and keeping a job? I, mean, I would recommend it a lot. I mean, Sharon was really helpful with stuff like that, and the JPT program was really helpful with transportation. They provide you with funding and stuff like that, so it helped out with gas and the commute back and forth. Yeah, is that kind of, and you talk about transportation because you, you talk about, okay, how do you help fix that transportation issue when it is like Daniel said, it's a 30 minute drive. Yeah, it does. When the student comes to us, our program is called the Job Placement and Training Program under the auspices of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. When the student comes to us for training purposes, we include the cost of living expenses into their overall award so that we assist them, uh, we do a mileage for them, okay. so they're assisted with mileage costs while they're going through training. And they can even come to us afterward uh, for additional help as they are merging into their career, career field, whatever okay. it is they're going into. That is awesome. And you talk about jobs in the healthcare industry, whether it be pharmacists or other ones. You talked about uh, jobs in law enforcement and criminal justice, too. It seems like these are areas where if you get a degree or you get some training in right now, there's a pretty strong job market out there. I see yeah. so much about healthcare. Healthcare, healthcare, healthcare is Baby where the future is. are becoming Medicare yeah. uh, certified right now. So we're all getting a little bit older and we're all going to need health care. <laughs> it's never going to go away. <laughs> that is very, very true. All right. If folks are on the, the Pueblo or on the reservation, they want to get involved with this. They want you all to go out to them. Uh, what do they do? How does that work? 
they will probably get get a hold of their local tribal education department. Okay. Um, each Pueblo has their own tribal education department, and those folks there co stay in contact with our office, and they tell us, we let them know when the next training will be available. The next one will be November 5th at the Pueblo of San Felipe Head Start Center. Okay, you can find out more about this program and more about upcoming, uh, upcoming training seminars. You can head to our website at krqe.com, click on links. Lori, Sh Sharon, and Daniel, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in this you. morning. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank Have you. fun over at Loveless, and stick around. We'll be right back here on the KRQE this morning.